Hey everyone, happy Monday, June 28th here with your day trading recap. Uh, nice way to start the week, plus 708 on the day. Uh, a couple mighty 90s that were uh, basically scratched, small losers. Roku, uh, minus 45. Twitter, minus 42. No pairs trades today. And then on the runners, Airbnb, uh, Airbnb plus 170. Coinbase, plus 370. Piton, 315. Square, minus 120. And Tesla, that was two different trades. One winner, one loser, uh, net net, plus 60. So let's go to the mighty 90s first, and I'll show you what happened. Uh, really kept my position size pretty small today. You know, I was I didn't trade I didn't day trade Thursday or Friday, and then of course all weekend. So just trying to get back into it, get the juices flowing, and so really just a handful of singles. Uh, Roku on the mighty 90 uh, had this nice bounce here with a nice little volume spike, so we got short right in here took a little bit of heat against it and then it kind of chopped around and finally came down and at that point i just cut out and uh ended up taking a small scratch loss minus 45. twitter kind of a similar situation but the opposite direction uh, twitter was pushing pushing had a couple higher volume bars one there and one there i waited for that one uh got long right in yeah right in this area here um, pushed down some more and then it bounced up. Look, look, looked like we were going to get, uh, get profitable. And then it just kind of came down and chopped around. So I cut out and just took a, took a small loss on that one. Uh, minus 42 on that mighty 90. And then onto the runners, Airbnb. So Airbnb, um, Airbnb could have been a little bit more, but, uh, so basically what, what I did here is Airbnb was just kind of really choppy, chopping around, chopping around. Finally made a nice move into positive territory uh, out of that consolidation area. So I just looked for a little pullback uh, back to the unchanged mark. Got long right here. Chopped around, which seemed like forever, about 20 minutes. Looked like it was going to push up and then came down. Uh, my intent was if it came down to uh, yesterday, uh, Friday's low, I was going to add. So I did that. Chopped around, chopped around. Finally made a push up. Uh, I was out of about three quarters of my position here. Uh, with a decent profit. I held on to a couple contracts to see if we could get some more. We actually finally did. I had an order to, to close out the rest up there, but it didn't quite make it. So when it fell back apart, I just cut out my last couple. Uh, so on Airbnb, booked 170. Uh, Coinbase, don't trade coin a lot, but she was moving today. You can see it's up uh, over 7% on the day and was having some, some nice high volume bars. And so um, let's see, was it, uh, yeah, it was this first one, big volume bar right here. So just on this little tiny pullback got long and I caught this move, uh, really up to the pivot. I got out, it ended up pushing a little bit further and then obviously came down and bounced again. I didn't participate in any of this. So just booked a, but booked a nice winner of 370 on the move that I caught. And then Piton plus 315. So Piton, <clears throat> Piton, um, was just kind of chopping around, then made a big push through the highs of day, pulled back to this pivot, got long right here, and just caught this move right here. Obviously, left a little meat on that bone as well, but I was just taking profits early, cut losses quick, uh, taking profits fairly early and, and booking profits, so it worked out well overall. And then Square, so SQ had this initial push out, and it came down, and it was it was holding above Friday's high, uh, still here, I, I got in around this area. Uh, it did push below, and so I got in um, with a little bit more down here. And it, when it finally bounced, I just got out, and that was a uh, net net uh, small loser of minus 120. So kept my losses very small. And then Tesla, lastly, uh, had an initial trade in Tesla that was nice on this big volume bar here on this little pullback, got long. Caught this move higher and then got another big spike in volume. So when it pulled back, got long here uh, and it just kind of chopped, chopped, chopped. Uh, almost got to a point where I was close to getting out of half, but didn't quite get there. Fell back down. And so when it started just chopping, I, I got out and took a loss on that piece. So one winner, one loser, net net plus 60 on Tesla. So plus $708 on the day. I'll take it to get back in the swing of things. We will be trading live tomorrow on Tuesday and then on Wednesday we're doing kind of an open house so we're gonna let uh, we're gonna let anybody into the live stream to check it out see if it's something that uh, that, that would be helpful for them for you so 
Uh, if you have anybody who's been wanting to try it, let them know this Wednesday. We just sent out an email uh, with the link and everything. Just uh, just be in the community, the Discord community. All you got to do is go to community.navigationtrading.com, jump into the community, and in the day trade chat channel on Wednesday morning, we'll post the Zoom link. You can join and check us out. Watch us trade live. So look forward to that. Uh, we'll be trading. We'll be streaming live every day this week. Uh, so look forward to seeing you all in the live stream room. If you have any questions, let me know.